Hello, and thank you for joining. My name is Jesse Snow, and this is Daily Bread. Today, we're going to start reading out of Genesis chapter 5, verse 1. Any visitors are always welcome. So, after you leave your love and your thoughts in the comments, make sure to share this to Facebook and Twitter. And before we get started, let's open it a word of prayer. Our Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Here's Genesis chapter 5, verse 1. This is the book of the genealogy of Adam. In the day that God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. He created them male and female, and blessed them, and called them mankind in the day they were created. And Adam lived 130 years, and begot a son in his own likeness after his image, and named him Seth. After he begot Seth, the days of Adam were 800 years, and he had sons and daughters. So all the days of Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. Seth lived 105 years and begot Enosh. After he begot Enosh, Seth lived 807 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. Enosh lived 90 years and begot Canaan. After he begot Canaan, Enosh lived 850 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Enosh were 905 years, and he died. Canaan lived 70 years, and he begot Mahalalel. After he begot Mahalalel, Canaan lived 840 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Canaan were 910 years, and he died. Mahalalel lived 605 years and begot Jared. After he begot Jared, Mahalalel lived 88 hundred and thirty years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Mahalalel were eight hundred and ninety-five years, and he died. Jared lived one hundred and sixty-two years and begot Enoch. After he begot Enoch, Jared lived eight hundred years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Jared were nine hundred and sixty-two years, and he died. Enoch lived sixty-five years and begot Methuselah. After he begot Methuselah, Enoch walked with God three hundred years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Enoch were three hundred and sixty-five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Methuselah lived one hundred and eighty years and begot Lamech. After he begot Lamech, Methuselah lived seven hundred and eighty-two years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Methuselah were nine hundred and sixty-nine years, and he died. Lamech lived one hundred and eighty-two years and had a son. And he called his name Noah, saying, This one will comfort us concerning our work and the toil of our hands, because of the ground which the Lord has cursed. After he begot Noah, Lamech lived five hundred and ninety-five years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Lamech were 777 years, and he died. And Noah was 500 years old, and Noah begot Shem, Ham, and Japheth. I'm going to stop right there at Genesis chapter 6. And I really do hope you enjoyed reading along with me. If you do, you can hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to continue to read along with me, you can subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications when I upload the videos. Now, it's really important to have new visitors, and the way we get those is by sharing these videos to places like Facebook and Twitter. So after you leave your thoughts and love in the comments, make sure to share this just to places like Gab or even Minds or anything like that. But before we go, let's close on a word of prayer. Father God, thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come to seek your face. Lord, to just drink from the well. Father, thank you for your Son. In your name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.